Uh, today we are very, 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 very honored to have Tom Rayworth here from England. Uh, and we are so honored that he is going to be uh, reading by himself without doing any accompaniment, without any opening act, as it were. Um, for those of you who don't know Rayworth, uh, he has been a major voice in English poetry for over three decades now. Uh, over two dozen books of poetry, collaboration, and translation, including the relationship, The Big Green Day, which is illustrated by the artist Jim Dine, uh, Moving, which is illustrated by the great uh, Joe Brainer, The Mask, uh, illustrated by Alistair Johnston, a long poem called Writing, and a recent collection called Clean and Well Lit, selected poems 1987 to 1995. I don't know, Tom, if you have copies of books. One or, two. one or two. One or two. So uh, if you're one of the lucky ones, you can accost him after the reading, and I'm sure he'll send you one for an only slightly inflated price. Of course. Um, he's been a visiting lecturer and writer in residence at over a dozen universities, including our very own UC San Diego, uh, recorded before I arrived in 1996. Thanks for inviting me. Yesterday, Stephen mentioned the reading was short, so all of this today. interested reactions, a history for rejection, inherited recognizable energy, whacked holes in gone scenarios, chrome-plated folds, dedicated to dazzle conviction, shapes suitable for previous sites, sprout again, unscrambling into limbs. Now happening at the hair. Head driven on down will release certain facts or run them through off chance, spread out in diagrams. Panache doesn't let go daily lives to form centuries, a weakness for cigars, for a few animals in tepid water, stops down into stills, flicking back hair going grey, while rest arranged a barrier to reside in tissue. Bruce from the bottom up. Not Traced by Us is the only book that really belongs to us, not that the truth they are arbitrarily chosen. The books whose hieroglyphs are patterns formed by the pure intelligence have no more than a logical or possible upon us. It remains behind as the token of its necessary truth. The idea is printed in us by reality itself. When an idea, an idea of any kind, is let in, dictated to us by reality, the only one of which the impression has been laborious to decipher than any other, is also the only one which has been the most austere school of life, the true last judgment. This book, more listen to his instinct, and it is this that makes art the most real of all in art and intentions count for nothing. At every moment the artist has to intellect supplies us with pretexts for evading it. But excuses have no place, genius, that is to say, instinct. For instinct dictates our duty, and that these are mere excuses. The truth being that he is not or no longer has the moral unity of the nation. He has no time to think of literature but this book. He wants to ensure the triumph of justice. He wants to restore war. Furnishes the writer with a fresh excuse for not attempting to decipher to evade this task. Every public event, be it the Dreyfus affair, be it the aside from writing. What task do men not take upon themselves in order our work for us or even collaborate with us? How many for this reason turn any rules for to read them was an act of creation in which no one can do exploring the ocean bed. If I tried to read them, no one could help me with. This is a poem called Firewall that I actually started writing while I was here, when I came back after my daughter died, so it stems from San Diego. Views of music drift into the central arena across a projector beam, creating stunning tableaus on the notion of chance, like them reinforced between two highlights on honey and gold leaf. 
though it might sound strained in the dimness while film throws images of people short of being ideas of the world devised to fit bodies leaking blood aimed at figurines radio noise fascinates with comic acts painted a brilliant blue at regular intervals less a visual spectacle than a door set on edge to reveal a tumbling cast of prejudices concealed in artificial objects changing the action plane into separate movements in space down through grey sight straight up broken above because you were lush Electronics completely black, drip clearly down lathered shoulders, wood shutter separated iron moves with his hands lighting up a crack. A small wet click, that death happened, cages set on a table. Medieval monastery look. Forces production of a finger drawing a line without the abyss behind every chair, enough silk. Any sustained possibilities. Install refreshing space, experimentation with survival, completed by the thorn shoot, too long, take floors out of proportion. Pull over, roll down tedium, corner of a sinister aching in her luxury, would carry conscious weight, the transmutation of dusk, disregard darkness away to bones and shadow, never perfect imaginary axes, warning demanded to perpetuate. High premium pleasure, sound running down the chain. Grey with stone dust by space talks, intercepted envy, buckled to an oak chair, molten wind streaked past, dented with rain. Quickly waned, the physical remained, a question moulded and inhaled, cheap painted plaster, distance had given up. Though not so ardently there from its ashes, though many gathered, but no engine came. Still a great deal forward. Moisture provided in part, unable to hide the verge greenery had passed on coarse grass one winter night, unifying colour from one area. Water with the syringe, stimulating discrepancy photographed in the act focused on a brief fantasy influence prevails over power. Swept to girders of the L, the greatest ham stole differently, didn't hit the chateau, too long to settle in one piece, trailing rags in the gas, deep archaic shine hung on, steady supply appreciated. White rolling clouds erased three tries to monitor. Little or no force remarks about the tragic update actions pinned to the wall, boxed in sentiments, money commissioned paint and a big space. Some more meaningless powder boils, the sugar content wipes away shapes up a slope through slaves, thudding porcelain. Also might be true disaster he saw spread out to a lucent sky. Viewed in surprise, manipulated. By boulders absurdly off, rushing right over camouflage, vibration hardens, reflection flows smoothly in. Beneath her gaze was the dilemma promised along another wire against his notice flakes filtered out a triangle was used so fresh its source remained vibrant as once remembered found some way down a horizontal rectangle wood for touching delicate kill with her feet extended outside exposed to feel maybe latex bleeds pressing plant capable signal barely reached dogs to train them measured baritone cracked the core to find the key successions of cold went through the scanner under ragged fur Crazy to be sure, tangled in air above hulks of freight as mistakes float through the fan, shifting empty space. Precisely the same air tracks back until cooked through, draped with luminous cobwebs. An obligation skidding around was cool and calm, his bearing was gone, not to sound young sitting there. Intolerable jerks of emotion, didn't appear frozen, had taken a piece led into the notion conscious of illuminated words. Phrases, each containing hair colour, stated that he waited so comfortably off dry carpet, completely being serious canvases stripped back to bear guru whose ideas, actions either touch. Empires of armaments, as aggregate clear. Wanders from our scene, abashed to find mud, his soul, the particular business of constant talking, the long dream dimly sentient. Within tyranny, beneath the surface of instincts to divert, spread out in thought, be talk, talk, read. Shaped to one winter day from such creative instability involved risk disaster possibly. Flowing rivulets underlying. Must be called, making simple explanations, fiercely measure flattery when drooling. He has also heard the faintest pianissimo, wild, clear of pines, burst into painted flames, spaciously reveal desire of every detail. Thinking may pull the bubble in, a wisp of lettuce, once part of spring, hide its grandeur, weak by relations stayed in the city, he had not left, dependent in large part. Several caped figures, of course, the envelope. Completely clean, could see no closet, but two visible, amiable outlines on the wall cloth, unless she ran silent, contemplating. 
with blurry concern its speed of reproduction. Usually they get broken by noise and words found hiding near the path. Any conscious movement between aims sliding back to nibble the leaves. Would anyone sue for doctrine when he carved images of the eternal voice in the assembly from the many reported? Surprised in the air, yellow and red seem to have great basic inequality. Nobody knows how to move. Space at some point changes position, holds her face, hides her face with the name he used, then disconnects at one end or both. Strange terminal types gravely self-destruct their long cells looping after another desperate encounter. To imagine an intimacy in suspension, nothing changed, the vessel ceased, red meat tasted done, simply ask inclination to help. Without scanning minerals, a vast country disappeared through the door to see distant starlight replaced by insecurity. These are just two 14-line pieces from a book of lots of them. <laughs> we could turn to get this message, a few words phonetically achieving escape velocity, dancing towards me near dawn as if by accident missing pieces of information synchronize its release. On a conscious basis, animals always saw in the most economical fashion. It makes no difference. We are now cut off. Looking for shelter will cause change to support a habit into the grinders. All were watching their terminals flowering after the long winter. The search had gone much further down the project, past the edifices turned silvery with light, too bright to help her. Before malfunctioning encased in flames, we hurried along. Sixty words I've never used before. For I am Marie Albiac. 1937, Astragal. 1938, Konstat. 1939, Goni. 1940, Keck. 1941, Olid. 1942, Spave. 1943, Tonus. 1944, Pixis. 1945, Lingi. 1946, Platt. 1947, Knopp. 1948, Picard. 1949, Loquence. 1950, Peavy. 1951, Overlow. 1952, Nim. 1953, Malm. 1954, Jerker. 1955, Ostiol. 1956, Nolition. 1957, Lurdan. 1958, Crypsis. 1959, Neff. 1960, Maund. 1961, Lucul. 1962, Molliman. 1963, Kier, 1964, Maided, 1965, Corsi, 1966, Surd, 1967, Burgu, 1968, Arastra, 1969, Rossa, 1970, Ambage, 1971, Pedur, 1972, Whale, 1973, Zarp, 1974, Indigate, 1975, Elon, Zista, 1977, Dunch, 1978, Clo, 1979, Inveki, 1980, Fror, 1981, Himation, 1982, Intort, 1983, Soans, 1984, Hastate, 1985, Glows, 1986, Sluit, 1987, Ilf, 1988, Gittith, 1989, Fugel, 1990, Ging, 1991, Idaism, 1992, Gaby, 1993, Deforce, 1994, Horient, 1995, Decory, 1996, Strider. That was for our 60th birthday then. <laughs> Jungle Book. Stranger. A curious hand touches the snow, raising pigeons. They want us to compete, so they need only read the best. Next line. This beautifully carved hand is for scratching the ice to attract the seal's attention. Come, take my place in the long hibernation dream of the hamster. Dear sir, flying saucers, flying saucers, flying saucers. He is taking a glass, but the hand of his shadow touches the door. The day has warmed the pebbles. Now why is this? His passport? His papers? The letter of credit says people are born in high places that empty. There is no imagery to explain this new feeling outside the range of sound and sight. 
he worries about the other three, packing, packing, his head turning over the surface, still dreams of the water. Pessimist. Little life supports my body. I don't want to be pretentious. This is the floor plan. Here is the hotel. I do my best. Breeding the arsenic-proof baby. I see China as terribly peaceful. Folk sitting around saying, Torch Singer rocks is on the wire, writing poems like, 24 ribs, pop, out flies the spirit. I like to listen late at night, breathing in a cloudy, tiny cloud of Chinese skin, as they all jump up and down, whispering, China. <laughs> no plus on equals noon, except when reflected. <laughs> window stops at the edge of window and door at the edge of the door. The observer shuts his eyes and continues the journey. Memories eat away at the idea. Wall runs into ceiling, runs into flex, runs into bulb, runs into light. Already the morning screams come from other rooms. Dreadful as it may be, it is not so. Dreams are sellotaped loosely onto the ten pictures of loved by children characters, all of whom look the same way. Chummily, their eyeballs roll towards you. It splits like slate or mica, or a thin sheet of dream takes the place of a feather in a golden oval. How to see people without their clothes. Death comes because the power of the body to grow is finally nullified by gravity, seriousness. To preserve itself, intelligence must keep its captive mind far enough above the surface to loosen the valve sufficiently for ideas to be pushed into action. <laughs> this is no time for padding or panic. Nobody controls the dice. When they roll, the winner is he who pulls the rest into the fork of his number. Of course there is a path where you never die and a path where you are never born. Both and all are irrelevant. See the Blind Deaf Mute's Book of Dreams. If at death your whole life passes before you, think your way out of that. The letters come with thanks, and any fool knows it's all available, even for replay, the repeated gesture, all those Napoleons like a deck of cards riffled through time. Or oh, that's what his idea would have you believe if you had time for that. So the repeats go to the asylum because intelligence can't have you reminded of no time. Think of the shock when the cameraman returns to collect his speeded up film of a rose blooming and finds the flower has moved a yard to the east, out of focus. Focus, locus, hocus, pocus. If a whole science and language spring out of the word mathematics, no, that's a trap. The notebook is always boringly open for our impressions. I'll just read two and then we can have a break for beer. Situations. <laughs> Inside the pantomime horse. A door in the TV opened. I felt the draft. Colonel, eternal. Just because my teeth are pearly. Never a dull moment, said the sun. You keep coming back to me with dreams and time. I've lost count of your visits. Perhaps we should come to some arrangement. Go out at night, walk in my reflected light, and write, cry, and always love the company of women when they dance. Thank you. This is a, another sort of sentimental reason for reading something because I suppose my oldest literary friend, Edward Dawn, died and for 40 years we were friends and the first part of this poem started actually when we were travelling in England in 1970 and went into a bar somewhere and were drinking and there was a stag skull just stuck above the bar, not a deer's head but the skull. And it was a time when I had this weird idea that I could sort of chart when a poem appeared. So you'll see, Stag Skull Mounted. 9 p.m. May the 1st, 1970. Mounting a stag skull remains the province of a tiny man who, standing on a bolt, peers across eye socket rim at antlers, the magnetic north, that are not his. Heads east again upon a giant brown and white St. Bernard which leads me to today, 
Obsessed by thoughts of drowning in hot water in the dark, the hounds bark, drift through trees in the night spring air, Venus is out. 8 p.m. May the 5th, 1970. Each evening the girl with a twisted spine passes my window. As the weather warms, her dress is thin and shorten, and useless pity for the deformed and lonely leaves me only this. I cannot love her and her life may be filled with warmth. I project my past sadness onto all. The weight of my thought of her misery may add the grain that makes her sad. I should be dead, which is why today the Roman wall is not the stones the Romans saw. 11.08 a.m. May the 7th, 1970. Matthew coolly looks out from his comfortable seat in the suitcase. It is in the case that he travels with Father Unwin on the missions that require Matthew to be minimised. <laughs> Sound poem. 9.30 p.m. May the 13th, 1970. The dog is at my feet. Thin paper blocks my nose, round wax bumps over me. All magical instruments must be duplicated. The way is not a direction, but a smoothing of decay. I am a ping pong ball from face to face, idea to idea, and what I do is a disservice to crystallize the doorway, the landscape beyond, to withhold knowledge, to fashion this from the jerks of thought and vision. 12.15 p.m. May the 19th, 1970. The government has explained the situation to us, pigeon in the beech tree. First a shoe shine, then the whole wide world, Frank O'Hanna. The plane dropped in an effort. The government has explained the situation to us. Pigeon in the beech tree, first a shoe shine, then the whole wide world, Frank O'Hanna. <laughs> the plane dropped in an effort. The government has explained the situation to us. Pigeon in the beech tree first, a shoe shine, then the whole wide world, Frank O'Hanna. The plane dropped in an effort. Pigeon in the beech tree. The government has explained the situation to us. First a shoe shine, then the whole wide world, Frank O'Hanna. The plane dropped in an effort. This vehicle is fitted with a Hope anti-jackknife device. One, two, three, four. 9.30 p.m. May the 24th, 1970. And... Nobody minds and covers blown blossoms and leaves with love, zap, 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 and the British Rail insignia. Petrol burns. Tomorrow's another day. 10.30 a.m., May the 26th, 1970. Wild elephants wouldn't drag me in the rain. Gentlemen wear hats to the zoo today. I wake to read contracts and smile that Ron in his title feuds Jerry Lee Lewis and John Ashbury with gracious goodness. Well, every packet bears the maker's signature as it says on the box of Farrah's original Harrogate toffee. 10 p.m. EST, June the 1st, 1970. Just for the record, Great Balls of Fire was something my mother and grandmother used to say before J.L. Lewis, bless him, love, Ron. Noon, May the 29th, 1970. I cannot find my way back to myself. I go on trying the sparkling games flickering at the end of my youth. 12, 10 a.m., June the 1st, 1970. The time is now 12, 25, 6 a.m., June the 1st, 1970. Looking at my watch. 11, 42 a.m., June the 2nd, 1970. Opposites are timeless. It is the moment. All time is our selection. He had cultivated Europe by the throat. 9.37 a.m., June 3rd, 1970. This is my handwriting. 1.31 p.m., June 5th, 1970. My up is mind made absolutely empty. Now here comes thought. Thought is laughing at language. Language doesn't see the joke. The joke wonders why it takes so long. But it's Friday, and it's a long way down. 10.26 p.m., June the 5th, 1970. Word. 10.59 p.m., June the 5th, 1970. 10.45 a.m., June the 6th, 1970. Word. Uh, uh, the, the, the. In adequate language, I love you. 8.06 p.m., June the 10th, 1970. Poem. 9.25 p.m. June the 10th, 1970. Poem, poem. <laughs> 7.19 p.m. June the 29th, 1970. Organic. 
7.21 p.m. June the 29th, 1970, education. 7.22 p.m. June the 29th, 1970, laugh. 7.40 p.m. June the 29th, 1970, this trick doesn't work. <laughs> so I'd just like to read the last few poems from this book and then something back connected to that. Unable to create carrier. Pigeons explain the supremo, perhaps basins of attraction, and so easy to identify undefended footnotes to a moral atom forced to show traces of serious style, interacting among enzymes to undergo ritual sabbaticals for a rush of air, on which the dove descended, exploding the generator of earlier situations, happening at the level of DNA, narrowly missing the luckless defender, vibrating to a concussion algorithm designed to locate criticism between gouts of yellow, the half egg balanced on a bed of herbs, prolonged and coldly limber, guarding time in an overnight bag, which according to the pronoun you, surpasses the apprehension of thought represented on screen by a halo nudging aside tongues of fire. Crowded with Otios passengers. At the stage when incredible mixed shit is ready to drop in on reflections of the patient's mood, certified to be a true result, hesitating before the sunken state that pressure might cause, ringing up the voltage on browsers whose deep sleep ought to be encouraged and used, draped over the orgone box, those mammals are alike in being hunted across a full moon dream as a byproduct smaller than greedy. Mannerisms shoved back into corrupt, defective nature, quicker than history could clean grease from its white hair, dropping the rubber gauntlet, while cars queue three deep between obsession and the go-fuck-yourself bar, or is that a piano rolling across frozen waves from the shabby sub over wet powder into the drawer and finally to the igloo? Cat Van Cat. Spontaneous activity reaches possible multiple signals, also ridden hard in past episodes along the edge of the harbour yards. Functions occasionally jam, tribal supporters take off, out and settle down, changing course, surging over building blocks to clear six feet waves, until that sort of engine isolates fish ancestors. Intent its information go to the cerebellum, with its cultural limitations leaking blood into panic, swirling, held formed by echo. Words open holes in ripples of colour to draw imbued utterances in a single hop through tephra into natural light. Historical sites familiar with traditional patterns, peculiarly patient hooks mutating profiles in the breeze from spinning radii, shared events shaved close of crop circle stubble chic. Hard white chains stand out across the supper area, rolling their links derisively in a spiral, expecting hoist convenience to spread out the local sheets. Differences in common. Proposed that the wave monopolists, in search of occasional response, try trading capital for an icon effect. Lingering, deeply dyed flowers exploited as basic use of the chalice. Surgical reports slip past oracles, waiting resignedly at midpoint of a tin roof, flattened according to tradition within a plausible context, obscurely tempered by reserve. The other way round, angels crossing under steam begin to increase speed sharply. No hard feelings. Something called obstructing, then in a sudden falsetto, mutual friends. The social pressures burn you with gasoline thick rain. A broken sky shows through from beneath intimately with some part you say was driven, gradually throwing arguments through right notes, right stuff. Objects dimly above variations were on the refrigerator, different if almost caught. Details pour out to sea, running to move the dial from your face in another exercise in denial, receiving his full attention. Redopsin Blues. One will never come as a model for instruction. Ease of access to dream begins to take off on different mechanisms operating at full power. No structural strength to smooth lines extra to the builders of the original, perhaps diminished opera, listing slowly, giving time, cells slack only in repose, estimate the exact sequence housed in rolling static, a camera shutter released, similar additions jump, lock into permanent mutilation on the fringes of structure. Shown. Processing encoded images, steam engines and nuclear power, in return for clicks of fame, let the curved museum absorb and emit light, dancing with humour yellow can't control. 
More fortunes out of bootleg yellow ring shorter wavelengths in a charade of impi, tedious pedantry, a footnote for the hoi polloi notion of referring private experience to tactical meaning. Pyrophoric. Measure always came back, not believing people at the next table, attracted by pathos caused by recollection, bang into a rock. Experience of this is an ideal made to look inside another expensively upholstered article to define the definers in anticipated snow, a case of mass production even at the price of servitude shadowed on white paper windows breaking the monotony of surface. Ingot we trust. Mechanical problems of fatigue that once roamed bountiful seem to adhere strongly one third higher on the wheel, exposed to a breeze through the cultural structure of settled tone rings, concentrated in management expectation, a centre you can shop around cripples a similar protein, leaving the stage short. No music. To rise steadily with reduction was the theme revealed outside a circle of suburbs, incapable of different history, to produce a backfire when small and tender passed by, paused into top gear from a position far too close to tolerate the fury of opulence. Bones lie across the country covered in rare mixed leaves, unable to keep them to choose the surest gain. Now back in Stag Skull Mounted when there was that one entry that was poem which fulfills all of the dictionary definitions for a poem except that poems sometimes rhyme I thought I'd write it out at one point poem poem and punch along it and then feed it through this musical box mechanism and see what poem poem sounds like <laughs> Thank you.